Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time visiting, I don't really do this very often. And by this, I mean talking to the camera from my computer. It's just, I'm usually doing stuff. But I thought, you know what, it's, it's easy to sit here and have a little chat to you, the viewer. So thanks for stopping by. eBay. This video I wanted to talk about reselling books specifically, buying from charity shops to resell, because a few of the comments that have popped up recently on my YouTube channel, and this is a relatively new and young and small YouTube channel, and I thought the easiest way, rather than arguing in the comments, is just to address them in a little video just like this. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now, a lot of the criticism was, buying from charity shops, you are depriving poor people of cheap clothes. I'm gonna go into why that's just not true and the positive side of buying from charity shops to resell on things like ebay and vinted so let's dive straight into this shall we so first of all we need to talk about the charity shops themselves they are run by volunteers most of the time the only people that generally get paid in them are the management maybe sometimes logistics people as well but most of the people that are in there are volunteers and the most if not all of their stock is donated as well so by buying anyone buying whether it's a, re a reseller like myself or just someone walking in off the street to buy something from a charity shop you are directly funding almost entirely whatever that charity is raising money for so a lot of the big charity shops in the uk are the british heart foundation oxfam what else have you got there's a lot of l small local hospices that set up charities in their area to support their hospice activities you know things like that so as i said by buying from those regardless of whether it's a small purchase or a big purchase it's it's a couple of things it's one thing it's a load of things you're buying from them to support whatever charitable things that they are raising money for so british heart foundation heart stuff cancer research cancer research hospices hospices by buying from them it's it's a win-win you're getting cheap stuff whether you're a just a person buying or a reseller you're getting stuff that's usually very good quality because it's been sort of all the donations have been sifted through and the prices are generally less than you would pay if you were to buy a brand new in the high street next up is sustainability now in a world where primark absolutely dominates every single high street and fast fashion makes people buy things and throw them away and dispose of them resellers like myself are extending the lives of clothes that otherwise probably would have been discarded so by buying and reselling, whether it's clothes or books or DVDs or games and toys, it doesn't matter. By buying them from charity shops and reselling them on, you are extending the life and keeping them out of landfill, which is ultimately where these things would end up if they weren't bought and resold in charity shops. Another thing about resellers is that we are making secondhand and vintage clothing and uh, you know items, antique stuff like that kind of hip and trendy and I'm not taking all the credit for it but we we hunt out hidden gems so as I said the donations are kind of sorted through and the, the good quality stuff is put out to the retail uh, shop floor but there's a second sorting of that stuff and that's when uh, experienced resellers go in there and find those hidden gems the more you do it the better your eye is for finding the good stuff so a lot of people might overlook things that they might think are outdated or not trendy or anything like that but tapping into certain niche markets like resellers do we are finding the things that are desirable so it's not just about finding cheap items it's about finding those gems that you think or 90 percent sure that somebody else somewhere else would want and it's finding those treasures for those people it's like a finder's service now i've talked about the environmental benefits keeping stuff out of landfill and extending the life of products but there's also the economic value to it as well see a lot of resellers have set themselves up as legitimate businesses they pay taxes they pump money back into the local economy so instead of like yeah we've mentioned primark before so we'll go back to those again instead of just paying cheap clothes primark and that goes massively to the ceo's salary and the the c-suite uh, the people that make millions off the back of that by buying relatively similarly priced things from charity shops you are supporting local business and obviously 
the better a reseller does, the more the reseller will pay in taxes, and that then goes into things like hospitals and public infrastructure and all that sort of stuff. So I think that's a win. It keeps money within the community, and it's a cycle of support that benefits everyone. So let's not forget about the people who actually buy from resellers as well. We are finding them top quality stuff, usually big brands, at the smallest possible price tag. Because what we have to do as resellers is find the price between what we buy it from and the price between what the shops sell it for and find that sweet spot somewhere in the middle where we can still make a little bit of a profit but the people who are buying it are making a huge saving off what they would have paid otherwise. So we do offer a budget-friendly solution for things that people might otherwise not be able to afford. So there you have it, a little insight into some of the positives that resellers do without descending into arguing in the comments about this. This was almost a completely different video. I found, as is the way of social media, I went and looked on the profile of someone who had left a, a very negative comment about resellers and I thought, I'll just throw some of your stupid content on there and make fun of you and say, you're an idiot. Listen, the internet is full of idiots. In fact, probably too many of them. But this video is one that kind of puts all that negative stupidity to one side and addresses directly, this is what resellers do. And if you think, well, you're a, I'll use the words that they used, I think you're a parasite keeping cheap clothes off poor people. I've addressed it already. That's not what charity shops do. And in fact, the more resellers spend at charity shops, the more money those charities raise for their charitable causes. Just to go back to it, British Heart Foundation does not cure all these heart diseases by giving clothes to poor people or selling clothes at cheaper prices. They are selling things at retail to raise money for their charitable cause, which is the Heart Foundation, things to do with the heart. Same with the cancer. Do you think the cancer charities are curing cancer or researching cancer by giving someone a cheap coat. No, that's absolutely not what happens. So resellers, we're not just eco warriors or supporters of local communities or uh, economic powerhouses of the local area. We <laughs> toot, toot, toot my own horn. But we're also, we're not parasites. We're not leeches. We're not stopping people from getting cheap clothes because generally the stuff that is in the charity shops that is cheap, we wouldn't even pick that up anyway. So that's still there for the people who do want genuinely cheap things because they find them otherwise aff unaffordable. If you like this video, if it gave you a bit of an insight, if you agree that resellers aren't parasites and leeches and actually by spending our money that we make by reselling things back into charity shops, thus sustaining the cycle of charity shop raising money, then please do like the video, subscribe, follow or whatever. Wherever you see this video, please do support the channel in whatever way you can, because that that will help me carry on getting the message out there, fighting the good fight, and um, buying more things from charity shops and making more content for you. And thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Maybe it'll be in front of here, maybe it'll be in daylight. I'm having to do this <laughs> very late at night, but there just aren't enough hours in the day to get this done, which is why this is like the first content I've made in about a week. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.